What's up, Pioneers? This is Daniel here with your Daily Investor, the place where we talk about investing not only in stocks, but in yourself. But today, guys, I got a quick video for you guys today. We're going to be going over four penny stocks that I want you guys to put on your radar for this week and the weeks to come. So without further ado, roll it intro. All right, guys, so before we get into the video, if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the upload. And also do your boy a favor and like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. I would very much appreciate it. So now we're about to get into this video. The first penny stock that I want you guys to add to your list, not to get in, but to add to your list. And I want you guys to remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I do recommend you seek a financial advisor before you even invest into the stock market. But the first stock we got coming up is ticker symbol BNGO. BNGO, this is the first one I want you guys to now add to your watch list, add to your radar. This one right here is actually graduating from the penny stock range. I wanted to put this on the video because I want you guys to make sure you pay attention to this one. And the reason why is because now the price targets has been up for this one. It was this one right here. I've actually seen this play when it was at like $2 and I've, I've been watching it run up. I haven't been in it myself, but I think I'm actually about to go ahead and start adding small positions into this because this right here. They have a technology that is they have a technology that's game changing. And also Ark Invest has interest in this company. So you probably want to add this into your radar. And I want to show you guys this before we move on to the next one. Alright, so right here is the price targets for this company right here, BNGO. Right now you have the low, which was 75 cents. Like I said, this one right here was that low. It was that low. The average price is five dollars and forty two cents. It's blown past that one. And the high is fourteen dollars. So right now it's only at $10.80 and the high for it is $14. Now this right here now is set to be a long-term play. So if you want to get in this, make sure you do your own due diligence on it. But I want to put this on you guys' radar for you guys to know about this one. Because this one right here is going to be a major one. This is going to be a major, major stock to get in right here. All right, so next we have ticker symbol AMC. Now this right here is in the movie theater sector. So I want you guys to pay attention to this one, especially this coming week and the week after this one. This one right here has news coming out about it. I want you guys to make sure you add this one to your watch list. I'm not telling you to jump in it. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do want you guys to add this into your radar. This one right here has some potential. It's already blown past its price target. I, I, really, I want to really say blown past it, but it's it's past its high price target that they have set for this company. And I want to show you guys that before we move on to the next one. All right, so you see right here that has seven analysts offer. They had seven analysts offering a 12-month price forecast. For AMC Entertainment, you see they had a median target of two dollars. They had a high estimate of three dollars and fifty cents, and they had a low of a dollar. And if we go back to the last page, you see it's at three dollars and fifty-eight cents. Their high for this one was three dollars and fifty cents. Now this one right here does have potential to pull back. So if you do plan on hopping in it, make sure you know you watch out for a pullback and then enter before you just jump in right here. But I do want you guys to add this to your radar going into next week and the next weeks to come. Now, this one right here is a long-term play. As things start opening up, you know, from the, I can't really say the word on here, but you know what I mean. Once, you know, the world starts opening back up, this one right here will actually probably begin to take off. All right, so next on the list is ticker symbol GSAT. Now, I really want you guys to add this into your watch list. Like I said, I'm not telling you to get in it. I just want you guys to watch this. This right here, I'm giving you the plays to look at. And I want you guys to do your own due diligence. And then if you like what you see, then get them. Not because I say it, but because you believe in it and you actually like the company. But this one right here has a lot of room for growth. This right here, you, you can kind of, you can go ahead and throw this one in the 5G sector. This is going to play off of 5G. And I like what this company does. That's why I went ahead and bought uh, three calls from it. And I got a $2 strike price for this company right here. But I want you guys to add this into your watch list. This one right here has great potential. And I want to just go to this page right here. They had one analyst do an offering, a 12-month price offering. It had a median target of 55 cent at a high estimate of 55 cent and a low of 55 cent. Right now, it's blown past that. It said it said a dollar and 13 cent, and it reached this past week. It got all the way up to a dollar and 41 cent. So this one right here, keep your eyes on this one. Add one to your watch list, and just. Pay attention to it. All right, so last but not least is JAGX, Jaguar Health. Next week, this one right here is going to have a lot of news going around. They have a meeting next week on the 27th of January about a potential SPAC merger, and that is going to bring a lot of attention to this play right here. I actually upped my shares to 100 in this one. I had 34, but I went ahead and upped it to 100 because of this week is going to be a major week for this play right here. And I want you guys to look at the price target for this company right here. 
All right, so you see they had one analyst offering a 12-month price forecast for Jaguar Health, and it includes a median target of $5, a high estimate of $5, and a low of $5. And so basically, I want you guys to look at the price now. It's at $3.30. It has a high of $5. Well, the low is $5, the high is $5, and the median is $5. So what that should tell you, what this analyst is thinking is that this price will go to $5. Now I'm not telling I'm not saying that it will have just the analysis that this analyst gave it. But I personally do think that if by the end of the next week this stock right here will probably be five dollars because of the news that it has around it. And they have a great product that's gonna be post virus. So I want you guys to make sure you look at this one and add this one right here to your watch list and just watch it. If you want to hop in it, make sure you do your own due diligence on it and make sure you have your own price target set for it. All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you guys those four penny stocks to look at next week because we all know right now penny stocks are hot. There's a lot of people that's trying to get into penny stocks. I know personally that there's a lot of new investors. Look, I'm not, I wanna, and I want you guys to know this, new investors. Just jumping in penny stocks is not the smart thing to do. Don't just because somebody tell you to jump into a penny stock and say, oh, it's been a 10 times. You need to go throw all your money in there. Penny stocks are risky. You have to, that's, that is why doing your own due diligence is very important because if you just listen to people, they can tell you to jump into a penny stock that's $2. One little bad thing comes out about that one, it can tank to 50 cents or even lower. You know, that's just the risk really with any stock, but you know, you never know. But do not, with penny stocks, they are very, they are very volatile and they're very risky. So that's why doing your own research and due diligence is very, very important. These right here are four that I actually feel like have great potential. And so I'm not going to come in here and just tell you about a stock or a play if I don't feel that potential about it or if I wouldn't even get in it. All right. So with that being said, I want you guys to continue having an amazing weekend. Use this weekend right here for studying purposes. Make sure you look at plays to go ahead and look in for next week. That's why we know the weekend is slow. We know we love the uh, we love the weekdays because of the stock market. But we need to use these weekends for education to, you know, continue to learn about plays and learn about the stock markets and learn about the lingo that people use and that we use in the stock market. All right, so now I'm gonna end the video there. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like on it. I would very much appreciate it. And you know, I want you guys to always stay consistent, stay persistent, make sure you guys smile, and I want you to do the most important thing that I always say, and that is make sure you stay up while we're gonna come up and never look down. Now, to the next video, Pioneers, I'm out.